still out here doing these songs? You know, you're still on tour. I do, but I don't take it for granted. Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. I, mean, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where uh, I am now. Should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and in the world we can't see. If, you're, if your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you're going to do a lot to, do to get there. Like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. Like you're going to end up in a, on a one-way street and it's going nowhere. Like that's just the truth. I've seen, I've seen so many people like forsake their, their, their moral code and their value systems just for a little bit of fame. And it's, it's not worth it at the end of the day. It's really not worth it. away from the witch that he had with him. He told her to go shopping. We were in West Hollywood and I was witnessing around to people I knew. We went off in the store and we started talking. I said, David, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. I said, I already know the answers, but I've been gone for five years. I'd like to know if certain things are still the way they were when I left. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. This it came with a few toys like a Happy Meal. I said, do they, now I'll explain some of this when I'm done. She's not going to understand it all unless she knows something about music. I said, do they still take the master to the temple room? And Abe said, yeah. I said, do they still have the colon conjure demons into the master? He said, of course. All right, no more fucking around. Masterpiece is ready, man. All we have to do is step into that magic circle and the masterpiece is ours. Are you ready? I kind of sang about you know, what was going on in my life at 15, and that's how I got introduced to the music industry. I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out, and so I sold my soul to the devil. You don't even recognize half the weapons that they use against you. And some of them seem so insignificant that you don't even try. They want to create a world where everybody is happy all the time. Doing all of the things that, if you're from a good religious upbringing, is wrong to do. In the fourth quarter, well, the Raptor having some fun with the cheerleaders. Whoa! Devoured! That's... That's wrong. I said, now, I gotta know something. What's the main reason for rock music? He said, come on, Lance, you know what the reason is. I said, please, David, I don't want to guess. Tell me what the main reason is. He said, the same as when you were in. So that we can place spells on people that we couldn't cast spells upon. Is the dark side stronger? No. No. What the? Is your more seductive? But how am I to know the good side from the bad? You will know. When you are calm, at peace, passive. Mm. A Jedi uses the force for knowledge and defense. Never attack. That's what they teach. That's what they want you to be. They don't want laws against sexual promiscuity. That's why they don't want families. That's why they don't want marriage. That's why they encourage homosexuality. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours. Because you're operating from a place of ignorance. And until you change that, you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your enemy. And if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. You can't fight the battle. You shouldn't even be on the battlefield. That's why you're losing the war. 
And don't tell me you're not, because I'm in a place of great knowledge about who's winning and who's losing this war. And I can assure you, you're losing the war. Doesn't mean it can't be turned around. But it'll never be turned around until you learn what you need to know. Lon Lawrence is the guy that showed everybody you can make it from D.C. to Hollywood. And uh, I had a personal stake in his success. Every time he did something, it made me feel inspired and really good. And he was always real nice to me. He'd sit me down, what's going on with you, baby boy? What, what? We'd talk about comedy, whatever. And, uh, you know, when we did Blue Streak, we were promoting it, and Martin had a stroke. He almost died. And then after that, I saw him, and I was like, oh, my God, Martin, are you okay? And he said, I got the best sleep I ever got in my life. <laughs> That's how tough he is. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me? Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. There ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. Roman is a crazy boy who lives in me and he says the things that I don't want to say. <laughs> he was born, you know, just a few months ago. I think he was born out of rage. He was conceived in rage. So he bashes everyone. He threatens to beat people and he's violent. That must be nice to have, like, an ignorant loudmouth who you can just sort of blame every... He wants to be blamed. I don't want to blame him. I, I, I ask him to leave, but he can't. He's here for a reason. People have brought him out. People conjured him up. Now he won't leave. I don't want to blame him. I, I, I ask him to leave, but he can't. He's here for a reason. People have brought him out. People conjured him up, now he won't leave. Hip hop goes goth, keeps going goth. Celebration of death, darkness. What did Alistair Crowley say? Magic. Open you up, put a spirit in you, change who you are. Look at the cover story in Rolling Stone A woman possessed. This article says Beyonce is gripped by a spirit so powerful it even has a name. A powerful spirit? A spirit in her to be worshipped by men and women? How many Christians went to her concert? Look at them. Look at the difference. Look at this. Is that the same woman? She says it's not. She's openly telling you that there is a spirit in her working in her when she's performing so the times you know her you're entertaining a spirit or entertained by a spirit yeah true definition of entertain detain so something can enter you when they meet me and they speak with me they're expecting Sasha and um, I'm really kind of shy, and not really shy, but more reserved and um, nothing like Sasha. But I guess I wouldn't be very entertaining on stage. So Sasha comes out <laughs> and she's fearless. You know, she can, she can do things that I cannot do when I'm in rehearsal. Right before I performed, I raised my hands up and it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else 
come into me. Why did God give me this life? Sometimes it's overwhelming. Why did God give me my talent, my gift, my family? But I know you're not supposed to question God. So I'm grateful for the life he's given me. Living a dream. I'm living my dreams. <laughs> wow. You know, I am misunderstood a lot at, at times. Uh, my music, my image, people had their whole. Uh, their whole thing about me, whether it be a, me being a devil worshiper or whatever, besides them reading into my hand over my eye on my album cover. <laughs> Why is your hand over your eye? Because <laughs> I'm a devil worshiper. What are you talking about? The Mouseketeers. We've got Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Justin Timberlake. These were all poor little children that were brainwashed together in a Disney program. What they will do is use these people in high-profile rituals. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life. There's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. And it all happens as she's starring as a kind of villain in the tabloid accounts of supposed jealous arguments and then a horrible breakup with her self-proclaimed first love, Justin Timberlake. You've had a rough year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. A breakup. This spasm of publicity about what happened in from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah, weird. Hello. Um, oh my goodness. Hello. Ew, strong Brittany. Um, yeah, it was a weird buddies. Uh, I saw the movie the other night and really enjoyed it. It was oh, fantastic. Oh, because good. I like it because historically it's the real deal, you know. And, and, and have you seen the movie? No, I've not. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, you've not seen the movie? Not just yet. And, and uh, are you too busy to see it probably? Uh, you know, I, I, in a way, you know, once, once my job is done on the film, it's really none of my business. <laughs> you know, <laughs> none of your business. So, so you deliberately don't look at the finished product? Oh yeah, I stay as far away as I possibly. Is that can. right? Yeah. I, I, if I can, I try to stay in as profound a state of ignorance as possible. Uh -huh. Well, you come to the right place. Yeah. <laughs> You're exactly where you need to be. You. Uh, <clears throat> That's interesting. And is it, uh, and forgive me, is it a little insecurity? Just, you know, I, I don't like, uh, I, I don't like watching myself. Mm. Yeah. Right. I prefer the experience. I mean, m making the film is great. Right. The process is all fine. But then, then he's up there. Right. <laughs> then he's up there. I have to ask you this. So many mothers uh, in my audience have said, to please ask you this question. Yeah. Why do you always grab your crotch? <laughs> why do I grab my crotch? Yeah, why? We think you, you know, got a thing with your crotch going I on I think here. it happens subliminally. Mm -hmm. When I dance, if you're a dancer, you know, you're just interpreting the sounds and the accompaniment of the music. Uh -huh. If there's a driving bass, you become the bass. 
if there's a cello, if there's a string, you become that. So you become the emotion of what that sound is. Uh -huh. Okay? So if I'm doing a movement and I go BAM and I grab myself, it's the music that compels me to do it. It's not saying I'm getting ready to grab down there and it's not a great place. You don't think about it, it just happens. Sometimes I'll look back at the footage and I'll go, and I go, did I do that? Yeah. So I'm slave to the rhythm. Yeah. Okay? Mm hmm I think the alarm's going off in the house. I don't know why. But we're going to fix it in a minute. We're in live television. So we're going to um, go to break. These things happen. We'll be right back. Club 7, and you should look after the, the Spice Girls, Simon Fuller. Uh, have they tried to, to mold you in any way, though, if people ask you to do things to change the way you look or speak or behave? Um, yeah, one of them tried to mold me into a big triangle shape, and I went, no! Nah, you know, I've got my other style. Sony... Be being, um, you know, being the artist that I am um, at Sony, I, I, I've generated several billion dollars for Sony, several billion, and um, they, they really thought that my mind is always on music and dancing, and, and, I, and it usually is, but they never thought that this performer, myself, would outthink them. Yeah! But this is very important, what we're fighting for. Because I'm tired, I'm really, really tired of the manipulation. I'm tired of how the press is manipulating everything that's been happening in this situation. They do not tell the truth, they're liars. They manipulate, they manipulate out, they manipulate our history books. But the history books are not true, it's a lie. The history books are lying. You need to know that. You must know that. The minute I started breaking the all-time record in record sales, I broke Elvis' records. I broke Beatles' records. The minute it became the all-time best-selling album in history and the Guinness Book of World Records, overnight, they called me a freak, they called me a homosexual, they called me a child molester, they said I tried to bleach my skin, they made everything to turn the public against me. This is all complete, complete conspiracy. Do you think, Michael, do you think it's murder? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I said it in the beginning and I, I believe it to this day. You must remember Michael told me repeatedly that they were going to kill him and that he was going to die. And who did it? What's up? I appreciate it. What I'm going to speak on is the thing that's on my mind the most. You know what I'm saying? The thing that we all got to deal with every day but don't really know. The industry. The industry. Man, it's not the same. Doesn't have to do with talent. It's about playing the game. The industry. Real niggas is dying to get in. The industry. Just to find they don't fit in. The industry ain't what it used to be. The industry's trying to control the way you MC. They want you to dress like this and talk like that. But I'm going to dress like this and talk with the bat. The industry, stay in the dirt, play in the dirt. Test the wrong one in the industry and you will get hurt. I'm not an industry artist. 
I'm an artist in the industry. So I do what the fuck I want because nobody can finish me. The industry wanted dead or alive new artists to sell their souls in the way they survive. The industry don't give a fuck about you. But the industry couldn't make a dime without you. The industry, I'm sick of this industry shit. The industry playing them like an industry bitch. They tried to finish me quick, but I am long, so I stand strong. Fuck a beat. Listen to the words in the damn song. I only, I, I only know how to speak the truth, you know what I'm saying? So I got a, I got a little short joint I'm going to hit you with, you know what I'm saying? And, and it basically reflects on my relationship with the industry. This is what it is. Often, my words fall on deaf ears. Motherfuckers be listening, but don't hear. Talking to a nigga, he be sitting right here. I be like, where you going? Nigga be like, yeah. Thank you. Response to the, the allegations that were were brought by the district attorney in Santa Barbara that you you molested this boy. Totally false. Before I would hurt a child, I would slip my wrist. I would never hurt a child. It is totally false. I was outraged. I could never do something like that. And we used to see the children in Africa, flies around their mouth. You remember that? They were just dying. And he said there were tears streaming down his face. He said, Mother, one day I'm going to do something about that. My son would never hurt a child. He loved children too much. Thank you for, you know, giving me the opportunity to be heard, you know, in, in a positive light. Yeah. Well, just in a fair light. I, I first came to Arizona, man, and um, I remember one day coming from the studio at 6 o'clock in the morning and pulling over on the highway. We like four cars, you know, just to watch the sunrise. And it was at that point that I fell in love with, with um, Arizona. I said, you know what, this has to be God's country, you know, because I've never seen anything as beautiful as that sunrise. Then I met the devil in God's country. You know, and uh, um, it's not so much who, it, it's what, you know, what happens and, and the things that the devil does. It's not so much a person, even though he, he acts through people. You know, you can't call one person the devil. Joe Arpaio? You know, you can't call any one person the devil. You can't do that because no one person has enough power to be the devil, you know. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's through all these hardships that I realized that, you know what, this is God's country because I met the devil here. Because if I hadn't met the devil here, I wouldn't realize I was strong enough to overcome the obstacles that the devil would place in my path. And it's by overcoming these obstacles that I realize that this is God's country because he helped me get over these obstacles. He helped me get over these hurdles. Okay, so but when you're done here, when yeah, you're out of here. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking back. You're not coming back? No, I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back for a show. I'm not coming back for a visit. I, I'm not even driving through the states. If I'm in a plane and they got to fly over, I'm gonna go around. Okay. You deserve the same grace. You know, whether I know you or not, I pray for my friends, family, loved ones, and as well as my enemies every night. You know, because we're all God's children. We're all God's children, and we all deserve the same grace. I think people are curious how a guy you sold how many records? Twenty-eight million. And made millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. How did you end up in here? <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think everyone who's watching knows how I ended up in here. I don't know if they do. I'm pretty sure they do. Anytime you get it, I'm pretty sure they do. You know, there's this, how do I end up in here? She's beautiful. What's her name? Marley. Her name was Marley. It's a beautiful name. We named her after 
Bob Marley. He had this idea, it was kind of a virologist idea. He believed that you could cure racism and hate, literally cure it by injecting music and love into people's lives. When they was scheduled to perform at a peace rally, gunmen came to his house and shot him down. Two days later, he walked out on that stage and sang. Somebody asked him why. He said, the people who are trying to make this world worse are not taking a day off. How can I? Light up the darkness. Thank <laughs> you.